Jody Coley, what's on here today? Well, uh, we have the uh, Morelli Mediterranean Heather Festival, and this is the, uh, the boating part of it. It's the traditional yard racing, it's Cunha by Dory Ackler, and it is a revival of the crafts that used to be uh, used when there was no motor cars around here, when at a time when there was no roads, when they used the yard for everything, even taking turf from various parts back into another, taking limestone from one part of the island to another, building materials, uh, even taking people to the graveyard to use the yards. But then with the with the onset of good roads on the island, the yards went into demise. And always, even when they were used as a working boat, they always took off a week in the summertime uh, to have a regatta. There was always a regatta in Morani, there was one in Ackle, and uh, one in Clear Island as well. And people used to travel around, even though they used to work hard during the year, they'd always take the week off in the summer for the regatta. So that's the tradition we're, we're honouring now here today. And how far back do you all go? Oh, you always go way back. In fact, Sala in Acton is being sale in Irish. And one time in Sala and Tunrigi, every house had a yawl. So that's how common they were. But now, a few years ago, I bought a boat with an engine and I bought an Acton yawl without realizing it. And in fact, at that time, there was only three Acton yawls. But now, as you can see, there's a lot more of them around. And there has been a great yawl revival. But it's a, it's a magnificent boat, but it's the primitive of the species, the first of the species, the original of the species, because there's no easy way of putting that yard around. You have to physically bring around the, 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 the uh, mast, and that's a lot of physical work. So this is a real physical <laughs> exertion job, and you need about six crew, four to six. Six, if there's any sort of uh, steady going, rough going, you definitely need six people plus. And today it was pretty uh, heavy going, even though it was very enjoyable. At the same time, it's hard work, but enjoyable as well. And what distinguishes the all from an ordinary boat? Well, the yawl is, uh, it's a single, uh, it's, it's, it comes from the Viking craft, the Viking longboat, and the original yawl has, has two, uh, pointed in back and front, but these yawls are called square stern because they made the back of them square to accommodate an engine for easier going around as well. So uh, the, uh, what's happening now is the, the uh, double enders have faded away again, the traditional yawl, and we have the square stern, which of course goes way back as well. But the original of the species is really the Viking longboat uh, adaption, which is the original uh, double-pointed yawl.